All right, so let me uh, shave this out. So I'm ready to put it back. I blew everything out, cleaned everything out, so I'm good. Um, so let me put this back in here. I should get up the hose. Um, let's see, I have some new bolts here. And screws. So these screws are, um, let's see, what was the size? 4 millimeter by 0 0.7 millimeter pitch. And the length is at, I can't remember if it's 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter, one of those two. All right? So. Well, actually, I need some Loctite. I should get some Loctite to Loctite them as well. Just a drop of Loctite is good. Shake up my Loctite. Uh, just need a drop on each. Each one should be good. Drop Five, five of them. And again, this head is a, uh, the head is a uh, um, two and a half millimeters. So when it's a really fine pitch thread, what I like to do is I like to, especially as a machine thread, I like to spin it counterclockwise, and you can feel or hear it seat. Nope, there it goes. I felt it. And I can spin it the other way, so that's how you know. Uh, you know you're not cross-threading it, basically. So I'm not gonna. I just do it a couple turns only. Just make sure that it just it's uh, in there. It's threaded, and that's all I need to do. A little bit too much. Oh, it's not a line. No, it's a line. Okay. Oh. Oh, I can't feel it on the side. Let me try the side. Oops. Wow, these, uh, these bolts are fitting very, uh, very uh, snug. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel the side at all. This is the one I can't feel. Why is it kind of... Oh. Okay, I think that was it. This cap wasn't all the way seated. So it's, the cap was kind of cockeyed, so that's why it, it was... Uh, it made the bolt go in crooked as well, sort of slightly. Man, this... <laughs> this 
and keys are bent up. There it goes. Felt it, but it was felt really tight though. But, uh, man, that feels really tight. I feel like the, the fit feels really tight. So I'm spinning it now. And the first, this first spin was uh, just to get the couple of threads in. Now I'm spinning it until it just stops. So basically, it just lightly seats on the uh, camera sink. So I'm not basically I'm not talking anything down yet. Okay. Let's see now we can start talking it down. Mm, not really talked down, but it's just it's uh, it's seated, but it's uh, firmer. It's a firmer seat now. Uh, I think this 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 turn here is uh, pushing this plate all the way in. The previous turn didn't. It just just enough to touch the screw, the screw head onto the counter sink, and that was it. Okay, so I think this is all the way in there. Now I can torque it down now. Then make sure the the Allen head's all the way in. It's nice and uh, squared up, like it, like so. So, I don't need much torque. I'm only using my pinky here. You know, I'm keeping my index and thumb here to keep it square. And my pinky is the one that's putting the pressure on here. Uh, oops, did I just do this one, right? I just did this one. Let's go over here. Wrong order there. So, go in the start pattern. So, with my pinky right here, that's all the pressure I'm putting in there. Uh, that's all it needs. Now, these are very small, small, small bolts. With very small uh, heads, so they don't need much much torque. That's it. All good. Uh, so here I could actually go like so, and actually I could actually clear my uh, air chuck here. See that? So it's not connected. So air is actually coming out, escaping from the tire out of out of here. So it fits. So now I could use the air chuck. So no more stupid adapter. I hate that stupid adapter. Uh, obviously, you can see how it's it's uh, shaved uh, shaved open now, <clears throat> so it's much better. Have the clearance now. Um, uh, so if you don't like this silver color, just get a sharpie and 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 sharpie this up, and you're done. That's it. Um, let's see. How many time am I? I'm only at eight minutes. Let me let me mount this. Uh, and mount it back on then. Still have plenty of, of time, I think. To mount it on. Not too long on the video. All the tools aside. Move this back. Um. <clears throat> so where's the side? Let's see. So notice the bend of the uh, cable. So it's bending this way to yeah. bend up onto the uh, this one. Like that. And this tab is facing away. Right? So that's, that's how you want it. Like so, same thing with this side. Oops. Tap pointing outwards. It's my nut. Here's my nut. Like so actually, you know what? I should uh, put a drop of Loctite on here. The blue Loctite. So, drop here. One drop. On one side, one drop on the other. Same thing with this one. one. Drop on one side, one drop on the other. That's it. Like so. Okay. So putting this in. Make sure that washer with a little tap there is on the inside of the, this arm, and the nut is on the outside. Do that to both sides. There you go, and that little tab 
six between that little space there. So basically, this is you know that nut is a it's kind of basically it's a it's a lock you know it's like a lock washer. That's what it is, a lock washer. That's eighteen millimeter. Make sure the the wheel is all the way inwards. So I'm pushing right here. I'm pushing on the wheel. Let's okay. put it down some more. Should be good. Inside. Should be good. Let <coughs> me connect these two back up. Like so. Uh, <coughs> and put the covers back on. Covers, let's see, there's one cover right here, like so, let's see, where's my bolts for the, those covers, let's see, these covers are silver color, looks like stainless steel to me, um, yeah, they, they look like stainless steel, I'm surprised they use stainless steel. Um, it doesn't look like it's galvanized. Usually when it's galvanized, you could tell. This one is pretty shiny. It's galvanized is not shiny. Um, when they try to make it shiny, it just, you could tell, you could tell it's galvanized. So these ones look like stainless steel, but... Anyways. So I'm basically just using it like this, so I don't have that much leverage because it's basically it's pushing up against this piece here. This is plastic, so it's not you know it's not very hard. Um, you, you, you do too hard, you crack this plastic. You get a compress the plastic and then it crack. This way, go last a little bit, and I'm not putting too much pressure here because it's. I don't want that plastic to crack. Okay, let's get on that side. Back to this side. Just like so, um, not. So you, you see that? I spun it counterclockwise first, then I felt it, and I also heard it seat the thread. And once it, when I feel it seat, then I could go spin it clockwise. That's how you. You make sure that it doesn't cross thread, especially uh, fine, fine, uh, a very fine pitch thread. That's how you ensure it doesn't cross thread. No, I didn't put any Loctite on these ones because when I took them off, I didn't see any Loctite. I didn't feel any either. Uh, if, you, if there was Loctite, it's a good idea to use a wire brush to brush it off, the old stuff off. Then, uh, then put a little bit of Loctite on the, on the new threads. That's it, I'm done. There you go, there you have it. I'm just going to get a Sharpie, Sharpie this black, pump the tires back, back up, and uh, I'm good to go. Alright, thanks for watching.